Hey, we're back again. Another helmet look at. This is my other Bella helmet that I got. This is the premium version that I got. I've been looking at this for a while, too. As you know, I have the high vis helmet with the Harley Davidson. Uh, none of those are snow, they're both dot. Uh, the built one is high vis. I like that. I like the Harley Davidson. They all fit me well. Um, the other video you saw was my uh, Flying Tiger from Bell, which does have a snow on it. So I'm happy about that. I like the graphics. The graphics are pretty neat. People are going to turn their heads and look at that, and we'll notice you uh, wearing that thing. So, it's nice. Um, and uh, so, the one I have here is the premium bell helmet. I decided to use one of my credit cards to get this. I wanted more of a top of the line bell helmet that I could choose from to wear, you know. Um, so this one, I got this from Rev Revzilla from two, for $243, I believe, uh, shipped to my house for that amount of money. I think I had paid tax for that too. It comes this nice little cover and then, yep, this is the star series. So you know, right there, that's, that's advanced. It has the advanced, um, cushioning in the helmet. And then there's one above this that has, I forget what it's called, but it has another compound in it that makes it even better. And uh, I, I couldn't afford that one. There's one above this one. And of course, then they have the race helmets, which are more expensive than that. So I was able to get another 300 almost to get this one. So anyhow, this is a star version of it. unpack it here if we can I like the graphics on it and from my reading I believe it has a carbon fiber build on this one too this this particular helmet not the other one I showed you before all right come on out Trying to get this thing out here, taking this time. Come on now. Right, where's that hook out there? It is. So here it is. And then, like I said, this is the Star, Star Series. And this has a different visor than the previous models. 2016. And prior had the older visors. This one's a Star Series. As you can see, the visor is different. How it goes down and up and over. And they call this the Panavision Shield visor. They also sell a visor that you can put on here that turns dark outside. And that costs $134. That's a lot of money. So I'll just take one of my sunglasses. But this is the color of this one. You can see it's red. See on the side there, those markings. And you can see the vent in the rear, right there. So it looks nice, doesn't it? And back to the front, and there's the top. And we can see on the back, it says here, Dot and Snow Movement Star. There's the model. And we can see this was this one particular one was made in 2016. Uh, April. And we got the, the eyebrows, the eyebrow exhaust up here. Got the top exhaust, and we got an opening rear exhaust too, and another rear exhaust in the rear. And we got the chin exhaust. Open and close as normal. The chin exhaust. Then we got the shield. There's your crack opening. There's your full face opening there. 
so. Yeah, apparently these shields are pretty easy to remove. You push button, the side button, and pull forward, and they come off. In case you want to put something else on there. This one is more for the support park rider, I would say. As I'm told. However, I liked it. Pretty nice. Has a lot of protection built into it. So I thought I'd get one for myself here. And this Bella helmet, I thought a large would fit me, and it does, but it's very tight. Uh, of course, an extra large is the way to go. But still, regardless, it does fit me, and I've ridden with it just outside very briefly because it's freezing out. Um, and it does fit. It's interesting as you can see how it's tailored downwards. So when you get your, when you get yourself in the motorbike and you're crunched in, that's how you're looking. But I was able to see fine while I was sitting up with my cruiser riding with this thing. So let's look inside here. Oops, not that. This does have the magnetic clip here. And we can look in the interior side. Kind of hard to see in there. It does have the emergency poles on there. And it looks very similar to the other one I have over here, the Vortex Lion Tiger helmet. Yeah, so that's really it. Um, as I said, with this star, this is the star, as I said, model, star series, as you can see. In the back, it says star on the back right there series so these add more protection than your vortex series it's my flying tiger you know that's a snout too but it does add more I don't know if I can get both in the frame here so let me see yeah, there's the flying tiger there's the flying tiger here and there's the, the vortex and the star over here as you can see right away, the shields definitely are different. These two shields. Oh, whoop. Hold on, this thing's going up. Get back here. There we are. So we can see the two shields are are different. If we look at the helmets, I don't know what I can fit in here, but a little different the side views. Uh, they're both, you can see as you're both kind of uprightish looking, but this is more, like I said, for the sport bike, and this is for more, for bike too, but cruiser too. Nope. Here's the back of the bell, here's the back of the star. As you can see, the star really dramatically goes down, as you can see, and out for when you're tucking down, riding. I'll just keep turning that. The other side and yep now we can see the difference in the shields and the bell helmet this the star helmets up a little bit more too obviously when you're tucking down in your sport uh, sport bike but regardless I did get this one too so now I got both of them they have the star model which is a little bit tighter than the vortex so, I did have my head measured, and it looked like it was a between large and extra large. So, uh, large at the end, which would fit, and it did. And the extra large would fit fine. So, let's put on the star here. And both of these are full face helmets, they're not modular. Um, Snell recommends that for you know impact, you want the full face versions of these so uh, I do like the modulars a lot my Harley Davidson and my built-in helmets are both modular but I decided I'll you know switch over to full face here this is a little bit harder get, getting down there you can get it down there fine and yours adjusted you're good I mean this thing is a little bit tighter 
doesn't move at all but it feels comfortable in here it's got to adjust your earpiece out there there you go yep and that feels good So this is pretty solid and the mag is fine even down when you're riding you can still see good so this is the star as i said and this isn't a large and it fits good like i said it's real nice and tight but oh, there's the cat the cat's checking me out oh max Well, Max doesn't know what to think. His eyes are all big. Okay, move out of the way. Out. That's my review when I get more on road time with these. Oh. On road time with these helmets, I'll let you uh, know more how I feel about them. Yeah, so get it off. I'm right. Yeah, as I said, this one does have the, the neck and the chin curtain, too. As with the other belt. There, that is really it. Thanks for tuning in. I just want to give a quick review of my Star Helmet. And, of course, you saw my other one, the Flying Tiger Helmet. And those are what I have to wear. So I have options. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.